Hey guys, what's going on? Rounded Tic Tac here. I'm re-recording this intro because it was just a little long. What if I told you there is a tunnel design that can let you solo any single mission in the game, specifically RTDs. I want to give a big shout out to Virtual Sway, who's the inventor of the jail build. What I'm about to show you guys right now, it is a build that allows you to basically solo any mission in the game. Take a look at what I'm in the background right now, and there's wall weakening, probably the absolute worst mission you can do, specifically for RTDs, but it can be jerry-rigged to do any mission in the game. Sit back, relax, let's get into this. This is the jail. So before we get into the actual video, let me just tell you about the build real quick, the heroes that you are going to need. Number one and two, you're absolutely going to need base Kyle for lofty architecture and power modulation from uh, power base Nox. You can switch these either way, but you have to play each one of these characters. The rest of your build is real easy. Uh, I have Frozen Castle here. Grease the wheels because you'll see why. Base MD and Tough Traps. Tr tough Traps, I would definitely try to get into this build, but again, not necessary. You just might end up going through a couple of traps extra. Now, the reason why is power modulation it heals your base. Lofty Architecture gives you extra health on your base. Frozen Castle, if you have it, um, makes everything even slower than it's going to be and grease the wheels we're going to need the decoy to get the husk in the correct position base md something you don't have to bring and tough traps it just helps out with the durability um but you don't need it depending on how your hero is built and your survivor squads lastly this is important make sure to bring banner banner is very important for this build as it beefs up your walls when things might get a little dicey and basically allows you to run around fix what needs to be fixed and call it a day uh the first time i recorded this i forgot banner and it was a little more difficult but also the mission i was on had wall weakening stay away from wall weakening if you can but it is doable with wall weakening the last thing to talk about is bring slow field because we're kiting husks around uh, you don't want to die you're not bringing a heal so to be able to avoid them run around and get them where you need to go uh, is very very helpful so this is the full build like I said you can change out him for him I think you could probably even get away with using him which actually might really be good and just put power modulation and loft the architecture in the support somewhere but for what we're going to show you this is the build All right, so we have the entire map all cleared up. Well, for the most part, let's just take down these last two trees over here. And this is the original setup you're going to do. Now, I'm going to tier two these walls uh, for a specific reason. These are wood walls, but I'm going to leave these tier one. The reason is, is that this wall right here has 3000 health. This wall right here has 900. As a husk, how they work is they try to find the path, path of least resistance. So they're going to kite around to this way to break this wall. We want that to happen. Now, next up, this is a water map, so we're not going to build out of brick. We're going to be building out of metal. Uh, all you need to do, it's such a simple build, is this, 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 this. I did that last time. Again, that's incorrect. Uh, this is only my second time doing this. I was successful on my first run, but it was a little messy because I uh, picked a mission with wall weakening. Wall weakening, when you try to do this kind of build, uh, is like the exploding death burst. So you try to stay away from it. Uh, but this one should be much easier and fine to do. Even though I was successful on the one that I accidentally clicked while weakening on, it just made it a lot more uh, difficult. Also, we had I also lagged out halfway through the game. So that was a lot of fun. So this is the full build. This is it. This is the entire build. Uh, it's that easy. It, the, the mission becomes so easy because what happens in this game, which not everybody knows, but some people do, but I'll inform you anyway, is that there's only a certain amount of husks that can spawn at the map on, at one time. Hence, if you don't kill those first 30 husks that spawn, you will never get another spawn. Um, so as long as you keep the original 30 husks that spawn, and that's a number I'm just pulling out of thin air. I don't know if it's 30 husks. As long as you don't kill them, you will never have another husk spawn. And since we're playing power based Nox, you have the health and healing on your walls 
to out heal any damage that they do because within that one by one is going to be a metric crap ton of crowd control so we're just gonna tier three all this to make it look pretty um, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to trap it all you're gonna need is two wall lights four floor pushers and two wall pushers that's it that is the entire build that it's so light and simple and we're only gonna use 106s just to show you exactly how well it works now first up you're gonna land and you're gonna put the floor launcher right here I am gonna have to build a couple more these so we're just gonna bang out two more the wall launchers you want them on the side that is closest to the objective that so you want them on this front end here we're gonna make that a regular wall and we're gonna add our wall pushers Lastly, you want to build a pair of stun lights. We'll make them 106 too. You want to build some stun lights and put them on this opposite wall. There we go. We got them. And that is the full build. Build yourself out. Break this down. And you are good to go. The last thing you need to add, the absolute last thing you need to add, is for the purists here, we'll use slants. And you add these things right here just like that that is the entire build guys it is that easy we're gonna add our last two floor pushers for a total of four five six seven traps this ladies and gentlemen is the entire build all right guys so that is the full build um, we're gonna see exactly how well I did here. Uh, these lights don't worry about them You don't need them. I just took them for the screenshot for the thumbnail guys So that was just on me to make it look a little cooler um, So we're gonna drop this balloon and see exactly how well it goes The originator of this tunnel said that you can open up these walls So as soon as the balloon drops we already have our base down over there. It's actually not the great greatest position for it We are gonna move it um, but we're gonna drop this bad boy down and see exactly how we do now the goal is not to kill anything That's the goal. We have our banner. Let's see how well we do here We're gonna upgrade this do not put the stairs as far as I know we are gonna drop our base here and That should be enough. We got a spawn coming over here and we got a spawn coming back here Let's see exactly how well we can do this. We're gonna we're gonna slam it down and we're gonna drop this right in the corner here, right in the corner, and then we're gonna go in and upgrade these to tier two only, tier two only. Then we're gonna get as close to these guys as possible, and we're gonna drop our slow field on this side. We want them to come in here. You can see them attacking that wall. That's kind of exactly what we want. We have uh, 13 seconds, seven seconds on our taunt. So these guys, don't worry about them. We got a couple in the jail already. I'm gonna drop the taunt right here, get them off that wall. And hopefully get them in we're gonna run around upgrade upgrade that we accidentally made that tier three I thought they would have done damage to it They did not and we also didn't put a roof on which is something that you need to do so we're gonna do that real fast You got to put a roof on because your floor launchers will kill them because they're going too high uh, We have one over here. We got four seconds on our thing uh, I do have sway sway in the game, but uh, he's not helping at all He's just watching to see me mess up because he's such a gentleman uh, we did get a stun through the sunlight on that one, but that's just a bonus. It's not necessary. Like I said, I just put those there for the thumbnail, um, but they seem to actually be working. So if you want to use them, that's fine. If not, it's no big deal. We got a couple more enemies left, but look at the mini map, guys. Look at the mini map. All right. So now I know people are going to ask about smashers. We just got one to spawn. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can get him to attack what we need him to attack. He should not break these walls because I'm playing a constructor. We got enough guys. We're going to drop our taunt. Let's see if we can get it going. He didn't have enough impact to do it. We're going to repair this wall. We, we actually pinned him pretty hard right there. That was really, really good. All right. Another impact. Not counting. We are the, Look at the walls repair, man. Look at that. Look how fast that is. And boom, he's in the thing. We're gonna leave him alone. That is, look at the minimap, guys. Look at the minimap. Look at this nonsense. He is stuck along with everything else. We're gonna open this up just a little, take a little peek see here. Look at this. Look at this. It looks so cool. Now, if you open that up, you will get a couple of guys. Um, but don't kill them because every single time you kill one, another enemy will spawn. Uh, but since we have banner down, our walls have, oh, you know, 12,000 health uh, being repaired at an incredible rate with the roof on absolutely nothing spawning. 
Now you can just sit here and ride the pony. You can just ride the pony the entire time. Uh, there's no way to really get these guys into the base, so we're gonna have to spawn shop one more time. We're just gonna take him down uh, and see what we get next. Hopefully a little husk spawns. We got another blaster, so we're gonna take him down too. And we're gonna spawn shop one more time. All right, this is the second part. Now we have a mini boss. Now we have a mini boss. Now, since we have a mini boss, all right, and we don't have to worry about basically anything else in the mission, we can take him down, take our time, and just bury him. Uh, does not matter. Again, Sway is here, but he's just, he's not doing anything. All right, my traps are broken, so uh, I'm gonna try to fix this as, as quick as possible, but it should be easily ish we got at least one stun light in without getting killed by this mini boss and we're gonna get at least one push pad in that should be enough to hold them off and the one uh floor pad that should be enough to hold them off for the last one minute of this mission um i'm gonna leave that guy beating on that wall that smasher is still here and we're just finishing off this mini boss just so we get the rewards you could leave you could just ignore him you literally could just ignore him the entire time we got one more guy 36 seconds ladies and gentlemen a 109 four man mission soloed although i do have the a little bit better stats in game because sway is here um completely soloed by myself with a combat score of i guarantee less than a thousand nothing can break these walls this is absolutely ridiculous this is redonkulous i'm just gonna build these up i don't want anything just sneaking in i want the 100 percent on this and that's it, guys. That is the jail build. Let me know what you think about it. And in 53, not bad. Seven traps total. Seven, eight, nine traps total. Um, not bad. Not 10 traps. 10 traps total. But if you add a little extra durability on your traps, you will be fine. And that's it, guys. The jail build brought to you by Sway. A big thank you to him for letting me make this and show it to you guys. It's an awesome build to try out, especially if you have a hard time finding teammates. Originally, I had some footage of his SSD, which has an insane version of the jail. But sadly, I did lose that footage. It just didn't record. Uh, apologies about that but i will meet up with him again maybe for the endless mode and we can show it off then but once again thank you sway if you guys are new to the channel and you like what you saw i post videos like this once twice maybe even five times a week think about subscribing and joining the pack if you guys like streams i stream about five days a week at twitch.tv slash rounded tic tac and if you're looking for a way to support the channel you can always use my creator code at oo tic tac oo if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for all the support I will see you on the next one. Tic Tac out.